Welcome back. You're watching Prime Property. One of JP Group's most ambitious projects has been the construction of the 165-kilometer-long six-lane Yamuna Expressway connecting Noida with Agra. Besides getting nearly 4,000 acres from the Uttar Pradesh government for building this expressway, the company also got around 6,000 acres divided in five land parcels, all for real estate development. All of this was hived off and listed as JP Infratech in 2010. So far, JP has launched one of these parcels, the one in Noida, which goes by the name of JP Wishtown. JP had got a lot of flack from buyers for being late by up to nearly four years with residential projects, part of the Noida Wishtown. JP's executive chairman, Manoj Gaur, now joins us on Prime Property. Thanks, Mr. Gaur, for joining us. You know, I have to begin by asking you about the capital raising activities of JP Infratech. The proposed offer for sale was called off in January thanks to poor market conditions. When will it now hit the market? As you know, it is our responsibility to comply with the guideline of SEBI and uh, that is the responsibility of JEL, the own, or holding company of Infratech and JEL will be doing the OFS uh, next quarter. Okay, fair enough, but Mr. Gaur, is it still going to be an OFS or are you looking at other routes, maybe like the IPP? And again, you know, there's not much time left to meet SEBI's norms, so when is this going to hit the market? We have to come to comply that uh, range of 75% and what is best in the interest of company that will do uh, before the timeline. Okay, you're not going to tell me much except there's going to happen next quarter. You know, Mr. Gaur, what is JP Infratech's debt? Realty company's debt has been a big, big concern. JP Infratech debt uh, stands around 600-800 crores. That was a debt we had taken in 2008-2009 and it was entire thing was invested for the construction of expressway and I'm happy to share with you that after the expressway got commissioned in August we tried our uh, level best to get the interest uh, rate reduced on the debt and also to have the debt refinanced by an instrument which has got a longer moratorium and a longer repayment cycle so as the things stand today, the debt has been, uh, the interest has come down to about 12.5% from a high of about 15.5%. There is going to be net saving of 3% to JP Infratech. And entire debt has been refinanced to a 15 year instrument. Partially 15 year, partially 18 years. Okay. Our plan in JP Infratech is to reduce the debt of our 6,800 crore to a level of about 4,800 crore by end of FI40. Okay, but Mr. Gaur, how exactly will you achieve this 2,000 crore rupee debt reduction? Well, this would be achieved by taking multi-prong approach. There can be, there can be, one of the options is by reducing, by raising some equity. I don't see uh, why it can't be done, but I, it is something which we have to, but time will decide. But more importantly is that we are hopeful that we can do some, uh, we can have internal accruals because earlier whatever uh, internal accruals were coming, it was going, all were going for the construction expressway. So now that would be available to pay the debt and there can be some other opportunity. So, I, But our focus is to bring down the debt by about 2000 crores in Infratech. What kind of an equity dilution are we talking about? Is it just to meet the SEBI norm of a 25% public float or something more maybe like private equity? I cannot today say that this would be the only option. But I am saying our priority is to bring down debt in the company. So far, you have monetized only one of the five land parcels along the Yamuna Expressway. That's of course the Wish Town in Noida. We've seen many projects here delayed. Is that why perhaps, you know, because of those delays that you have not monetized the other land parcels? I understand you're ready to start launching the Agra Township. Is all of this correct? Our, our effort has been to, because as you also mentioned, there were delays here. We have, uh, we thought, let us first put our house in order here. And then... Even this contraction of economy also uh, compelled us to go slow. But now, ex when the express was not, uh, was not open, there were issues because without the connectivity, Agara parcel got no value. So, as people are experiencing, so that's how the timing is right now for us to launch Agara. 
but what's the immediate launch pipeline? As a group, other than Vistown Noida, real estate, a uh, lot of real estate development is coming up at Farm Around City. But when you talk about JP InfraTech, then we have to talk about, uh, we have to think about other parcels. And I will say, Sport City North, which we can, uh, which we have identified, is the one which is going to see a lot of action. And the Wish Town at Agra, that is uh, again uh, going to be in the list of priorities, which is going to uh, see a lot of action. What kind of prices are we talking about in Agra? Because you know you can't charge in Agra what you have been charging in Noida. Rate of the real estate and the pace of the digital sales all depends on how the economy of the state and the country is going to perform and we all know there is a bit of a contraction in our, in our economy. However, I am quite convinced and uh, quite confident that at Agra we would be able to uh, have an average ration of about 3,800 rupees to 4,000 rupees per square feet across different products. Wow, you're still going to make 4,000 rupees a square foot in Agra. But you know then, what kind of ticket prices are we really talking about? Well, yeah, minimum ticket size of about 35 and uh, going all the way up to 55 lakhs. Okay, now Sports City around the JP F1 track, you say that's another priority. What exactly is on the anvil? Well, in Sports City, there would be uh, multiple products. Uh, we have been able to successfully launch Bougainvilliers, the farmhouses which are in the range of about 8 to 10 crores. Then there are studio apartments, about 40 lakhs. Then there are going to be very iconic apartments overseeing the farm alone track. Their ticket size may be about a crore. Okay, Mr. Gore, you clearly have very ambitious plans. You know, can you give me a revenue guidance for F514? Well, JP Infratech, uh, if all goes well, this year it would be uh, recording in FY13 uh, revenue about 3,300 crores. And uh, as things stand today, I am quite hopeful that for FI14 it will be touching about 4,000 crores. Okay, while all this is fine, the fact is you did get a lot of flack from buyer associations of the Noida wish down for late deliveries. Are deliveries back on track? I appreciate the concerns of people when things go, when things are delayed. And I also would like to say that uh, our organization has. Uh, delivered some of the most difficult projects in some of the most challenging circumstances consistently. But uh, our real estate delivery were uh, not on schedule to begin with and uh, we are conscious. In fact, uh, there are variety of reasons. It is not that uh, there was no intent. Uh, so the intent was right, but yes, they got affected. And you are right when you hear all these uh, associations and uh, so we, have been, we also have a, uh, had our own experiences and uh, we did uh, come out with uh, some solutions uh, which were I think reasonable, which got accepted and now a lot of deliveries of different product is taking place and uh, I am more than confident that once people start uh, coming to this Vishwa Noida, they will uh, have this satisfaction that, that even though there was some, uh, I will say, inconvenience, but ultimately the experience of Vishwa Noida would make them uh, reaffirm that their decision was right. So what kind of a compensation did you offer your buyers? We did uh, do the soul searching as people came out with their problems and uh, their payment uh, plan were, uh, were modified and there were some other schemes but we then changed to CLP linked uh, payment plan and ultimately they also saw the effort which we had made to uh, make up for the delay. And now how we are developing the other facilities like clubs and everything. So I think this confidence ultimately, uh, I, the fact is people always had a confident JP group and they will have the confident JP group. And this delay which has taken place, there are a lot of learnings and I am sure we, our all uh, people are now more than 
uh, confident, more than they have reinforced their belief that such delays should never take place in the future. My last question, Mr. Gore, you were seen very close to Mayawati, but then it was Akhilesh Yadav that actually inaugurated the Yamuna Expressway. So are you close now to both the Samajwadi Party and the BSP? What do you tell your critics? <laughs> I think uh, my answer will be the same as it was earlier. We have been working in 18 states of the country and we are proud to work. And uh, I also I maintain that Mr. Akhilesh Yadav ji is a very young and dynamic uh, chief minister. He wants to do good for his state. And the very fact that uh, he inaugurated the expressway shows that uh, how much uh, concern, how much uh, determined he is for the welfare of the, of his, the state. And uh, as you know, uh, where about uh, eight weeks back, government of India had the investor summit at Agra, where almost 60 con uh, countries participated and where Honorable uh, Vice President Shri Ansari ji and uh, uh, Sharma ji, our Honorable Minister of Commerce were there and Honorable Chief Minister UP was there. So I am very happy that uh, Yamuna Expressway was, was, was used by, diff by different delegates of many countries and uh, uh, it is not a question of one regime or another regime, it is a question of the, how the growth will take place and how the development will take place all around the country. Okay, Mr. Gaur, we're going to have to leave it at that. Thanks a lot for joining us at Prime Property. That's JP telling you firsthand of what all to expect in the next few months. Unfortunately, we're totally out of time, so we're going to wrap up this edition of Prime Property. See you same time next week.